infernal greetings, infernal blessings to all. Facing the abyss. You may have heard this before. You had, may have heard teachers write about it, speak about it, present it in videos and lectures, so on and so forth. But what does that really mean? First of all, facing your abyss is not an easy task. It is not something that you just get up one day and say, I'm going to face my abyss today and that's it. It's over with. No. Facing your abyss may be a lifetime project for you. It may take months. It may take years. However, facing your abyss is facing your horrors and the horrors of the collective unconscious and collective conscious. The horrors of humanity that we fail to address, fail to speak about, or just want to ignore it, hoping it goes away. What are those horrors? It is that beast-like nature that you have no control over because you never were taught how to control your beast. Your beast can be an asset in your life, but it can also be destructive in your life. So your beast, the beast, that primordial beast is untamed. It's wild. It's chaotic, destructive, violent, aggressive. The problem that happens is that when we face the abyss, we're facing ourselves. And these are the parts of ourselves we don't want to accept that exist or want to ignore. So when you face your abyss, you'll start to get answers to why the world is in the state it is in. No, it's not because CERN was turned on and another portal was open. This has been happening long before CERN ever came to existence. See, the veil between the living and the dead is starting to dissipate more and more. Therefore, the, those things that are horrific, grotesque, so on and so forth, are starting to seep into this existence. And many people have failed to address their own psychological issue. Therefore, these chaotic energies, these destructive energies, can take hold of weak-minded individuals who never address their issues, problems, programming, so on and so forth. And then it unleashes the chaos that's in the world today. And the problem is that everybody wants to dress it up as if they have the answer to the problem. And they don't. They don't have the answer. Because politics will not give you the answers. Religion will not give you the answers. Those are just band-aids to cover up the real problem. The real problem is as that veil thins out and the abyss becomes more centered into this physical reality, the more chaotic and violent events you will see take hold. And no band-aid is going to cover up the reality that the problem is not a weapon. The problem 
It's psychological disconnect that many humans are now experiencing. Because now they're facing the reality of parts of themselves that have now taken hold. Parts that we never were given answers to. Why? Because myth and ritual is necessary in your evolution. I didn't say religion. I said myth and ritual. Myth can be from any spiritual, magical, or uh, ethnic tradition. And it does not matter if you are black, white, Hispanic, Asian, so on and so forth various races, ethnicities, nationalities. What matters is that you find what works for your evolution, your growth, that can tap into the abyss within yourself and show you how to gain control of that abyss so that the beasts, the monsters, the demons, the dark gods, goddesses, the light gods and goddesses, the angels. No longer do you worship them, but you understand their mythology. You understand how to use the information we've been given about these entities, how it applies to you and how you can use it to empower yourself. You have people in the left-hand path who argue theistic and atheist. As the good brother Thomas Leroy says over and over in his videos, doesn't make a difference. At the end of the day, if you're theistic, atheistic, it's irrelevant. What is relevant is how you can use the myths, the mythos, of these dark gods, goddesses, demons, so on and so forth for your transformation. Their stories are parallel to your existence, your experiences, your personalities, your powers, your abilities, but we've been taught to disconnect from them. Therefore, it comes the problem. We don't realize that they are us and we are them. So therefore, it's always a separation and you never get the answers to your question. But facing the abyss is necessary, though, especially with the world in the state of the world that is today. More and more chaos is going to be unleashed here. More and more craziness is going to be unleashed. And this has been happening way before CERN. And all these CERNites, the CERN, when they turn on the CERN, it's going to open a portal and more. Listen, that happened before they turn on CERN. It's been happening since I was a youngster. And it's going to continue happening long after CERN is turned on or not. You are conspiracists who have no life most of the time and jump on the latest hot ticket so you could get subscribers. Whether I have one subscriber or whatever, the show must go on. I'm going to teach those who want to listen, those who want to apply, and those who want to put in work. I'm not here to teach to make you feel good, massage your ego, how original, how melanated, how great, how divine you are how white, how pure, how this, or whatever, all these stupid-ass philosophies and beliefs we have been given. I'm not I, My concern is none of that. My concern is, are you willing to put time, effort, and work to master yourself? I am not giving you no super-secret science 
I am just sharing with you years upon years, over 30 years of walking the occult, inside and out. And those experiences I gain that may help you when your time comes to face the abyss. I can't walk you there. I can't hold your hand and walk you through the abyss. It's your abyss that you will face. Everybody's abyss looks different when you look in it. All I could do is give you some work to prepare you for that. From my experiences of different temples, different organizations, different what uh, groups I've belonged to over time, my individual work, my individual experiences, walking through things, that's all I can share. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, go find someone who'll massage your ego, make you feel great at the end of the day. Doesn't matter. The show goes on. This is why I shut down the old page, the Eternal Black Flame page. I wanted to show people this has never been about finances, ever. Despite what you may think, this is not about finances. I used to average 40 members or more. I'm down to 12 because it was never about the finances. It was about those people who sincerely want to master their life and want to sincerely do the work. We have too many armchair occultists on the left-hand path. And in the occult in general, too many armchair occultists. Y'all just want to read books all day and night. Books are nothing but manuscripts that have little teasers to get you more involved, to seek further. You guys act as if I did a ritual from such and such a book. I'm initiated into the grand scheme of things. No, you're not. You're still a neophyte. You're still at the beginning stages. You haven't been spanked in the kulo enough. You haven't been shaken up enough. The demons haven't rattled you enough. The dark forces haven't smacked you up enough for you to realize you're still at a newbie phase. You're getting arrogant. The work on the left-hand path is not for your ego to continue to be overblown. It's to learn what a healthy ego is compared to an unhealthy ego. You do need your ego on the left-hand path. But some of you fools, ego is so obnoxious, so arrogant. That's the work that the left-hand path obliterates that stupidity. You all don't get it yet. It's about becoming a better person, reaching your demonic self, your super genius or true self. That doesn't mean you have to be nice and bend over for everybody who acts like they need assistance or I'm supposed to be nice because I've been programmed to be nice by religion so I don't question authority. No, that means through compassion, true compassion, not this fake compassion most of us have, true compassion, you're nice to those who you choose to be nice to. It's a big difference. But some of y'all get on the left-hand path and become straight dickheads, straight pompous, arrogant fools. People forget. Outside of this, I have a life. I have a business I run. Very well to do business right now and only getting better. I have relationships. I have family. I exercise. I do my best to eat good. And no, being vegan does not mean that you're healthy. Unfortunately, a lot of you vegans are falling apart health-wise. So do not ever come to me with some vegan vegetarian caca because I will literally send you back crying home to your mama, okay? That is really stupidity right there at the end of the day. There is no one diet for billions of people. And if you think that is the case, you are just as retarded as anybody else who fails or refuses to face their stupidity.
this abyss is something serious, so serious that I don't think some of y'all watching this right now are even getting how serious this is. When you look into the abyss, you will see Michael Myers, not because Michael Myers is real, because you may have been programmed to accept Michael Myers as a archetype of a serial killer. And when you look into the abyss, you may see Michael Myers with your face. What does that mean? You may have a trait. You may have a personality that could lead you to be that destructive. People want to veil and mask themselves to be this divine teacher, divine lecturer. I'm not divine. I don't want to be divine. I don't care about being divine. I care about mastering my stuff. Good, bad, ugly, and beautiful does not matter. I will master my stuff. And that's been my life long journey, and I became more aware of that over a decade ago. It is nothing to play with. For my new students in the Temple of the Black Serpent, I thank y'all for rolling with me, walk with me, because we're going to continue doing some serious work. But I'm not doing the work. I prepare the work and others prepare the work. You do the work and put your energy and effort behind it. It's just our experiences that we are sharing with you that may trigger further development, further journeys on this left-hand path, on this path of self-mastery. The tunnel of set, nothing to play with either. The tunnel of set is preparing you for the day you face the abyss. That's what the work is literally all about. That dath that you find on the tree of Sephiroth and the tree of Klippoth, that's the abyss. To some, that is the abyss, the gateway between both. There's nothing to play with. People can face their, their, their stupidity easier then they can face the horrors of humanity. Humans are afraid more than they even give credence to. The abyss will surface all of your fears, even the ones you're too arrogant to admit exist. Fears are not something that makes you weak. Fears actually make you strong. Huh? What do you mean, Rapana? By knowing that you have a fear, you do something about it. By ignoring or acting like you don't have fears means you never do anything about it. Means you will never do anything about it. Therefore, you will never change and you will always be in the same position. You will always be in the same predicament over and over and over because you were free, refused to face your monsters that you created since childhood or was given to you and how they took hold over your life and they terrified you and they created nightmares in your life. The abyss is no joke. But are you honest enough or real enough to face that fact? My YouTubers, I have thousands of subscribers on YouTube, don't know hardly any of y'all. Are you really ready to walk this left-hand path? Or are you just sitting there taking notes so you can regurgitate it and sound deep and repeat it to someone else? Because if you really was about this left-hand path, if you really wanted to learn, you would get inside the left-hand path, not sit on a, on a chair reading a book or watching YouTube videos from all these teachers. You could read and watch as many videos as you want and you'll step five feet into the left-hand path and that's about it. Do you really put both feet in there, jump head first? 
into the deep end without a life jacket. If you can't swim, even better without a life jacket. That means you you are overcoming your fears and willing to say, yo, that's it. I'm facing all of this. So for people who love the Tunnels of Sex class, there is another live class we'll probably do next week. Y'all need to get into the class. I mean, I'm just being real. I'm not sugarcoating nothing no more. One thing I realized, because I recently got over the flu, no, not COVID, the flu, because y'all think everything is COVID nowadays, and it's not. It was the flu. One thing I realized, being sick, I realized the power of the mind. I realized the power of the tunnels of sex. I realized how to work and tap into the tunnels of sex with the power of the mind. And I'd love to share a lot of that with y'all, but I'm not going to share that on YouTube because some of y'all are going to misuse it and, and mess it up. I would. There is a system that I created while I was ill that could be very effective for people on how to enter the tunnels of set and how to enter from two different points. There's more points, but there's two different specific points that you could enter the tunnels of set like this. Working through the clip off, the clip off itself you start to realize the power of arachnid, the weaver, the spider guys. Those tunnels are weaved by arachnid. And the matron and patron of the cliff is Lucifer and Lilith. And every demon, arch demon, Archetype, dark god, god, whatever you want to label these, is something you must experience and you must wear that deific mask. You must walk through there and you must realize why you're walking through there. You will start to realize the weaver, the web, how each web is intertwined into another multiverse and how your experiences are coming together as you go through these tunnels, through these webs and how they weave to another multiverse. And there you're experiencing another reality than the one you're currently in. But both of those realities are necessary for your self master. Can you face yourself? If you can, I challenge you all right now. Left Hand Path is all about challenging yourself. So I'm challenging all my subscribers. Get into the Tunnel of Set class. I challenge you. If you are not scared, if you're not weak, if you're not running from things, if you're not a punk, whatever the case may be, get into the Tunnel of Set class. And I guarantee you, you will start to face yourself on, in ways you have never faced yourself before. That's the only guarantee I will ever make. You will face yourself in ways you've never faced yourself before. Now, the question is, are you going to stand there or are you going to run once you really face yourself? Not the superficial self you created, not the mask you wear to survive in society. I'm talking about the true self, the self that most of us refuse to face. Yeah. If you're really ready, I challenge you. If you think you're ready, I challenge you. If you're not an armchair poultice or armchair left-hander, I challenge you to get off that sofa, get into the class. If you don't, don't matter. I'm gonna just keep working with my brothers and sisters who want this. But please, people, this is one of the last things I'm gonna say this, this afternoon. Stop chasing those who love to massage your ego and make you feel better about yourself because they're really not assisting you in your journey. They're just feeding you a bunch of caca to feed off of you. Period. And another last note, 
everything in a tunnel perfect in the clip pop is related to vampirism. If you're serious about vampirism, get down with the vampire magic class. Now, there's supposed to be a class today. I did a series of six. What that means is we pick a subject, vampire magic, and then there's supposed to be six different topics that we discuss about vampire magic. Only one person signed up. So hopefully she watches this video today. Kaliga, this is for you. We need to delay the class one more week. Until more people sign up, I'm going to de de delay the class one more week. I, I do not teach just one-on-one. -on -one. I have a, a mentorship class for that. So I want to delay the vampire magic class for one more week to more people sign up. Okay? So I'm giving you all to next Friday to sign up for the vampire magic class. The first topic is what is vampire magic? That is the first topic. Okay? The subject is vampire magic. And there are six different topics where we discuss vampire magic, okay? So the first topic we'll be discussing is exactly what is vampire magic? Second is energy manipulation. How do you manipulate energy? That's the second topic. That will be the next class out of the subject of vampire magic. Then the importance of chakras to a vampire. It's the third class. The fourth class is feeding as a vampire. What does it mean to feed as a vampire? And it's not what you read in a book, people. I'm sorry to say what you mostly hear and read about vampire magic is not the true essence of why you feed. It is a part of why you feed, not the true essence. So if you think that you have the answers to these topics already, think again. You're wrong. And I can challenge anybody to prove to them that you're wrong. That is not what feeding is to a vampire. That is like superficial levels. There is different levels of vampire feeding that you will never be privy to because you're still an armchair occultist. Okay? Astral travel. What is astral travel to a vampire? A lot of work we do is through astral travel. It's being familiar with the astral plane. It's learning how to travel in the astral plane, so on and so forth. Lastly, what is apotheosis as a vampire? Those are the six topics under the subject vampire magic. So I'm going to delay the class to next week. You have till Friday to sign up. Email me at the Vampire Temple, Vampire Temple of the Black Serpent. Vampire Temple of the Black Serpent. The, the email is in the description box in this video, okay? Or hit me up at the Temple of the Black Serpent, Temple of the Black Serpent on Instagram. DM me on Instagram. I will give you my cash app, which is dollar sign, capital Y, Yankees, fan 65. Dollar sign, capital Y, A-N-K-E-E-S, F-A-N, 65. Yankees fan, 65 is my cash app. You have till Friday, 6 p.m. to sign up because next Saturday we will have the first vampire class, for first vampire topic under the vampire magic subject. Vampire subject. What is vampire magic? I mean, vampire magic is a subject. Under each subject, we will do six classes. Let me say that again. The subject is vampire magic. Under vampire magic, we will do six different topics discussing vampire magic. So after vampire magic, I may do, let's say, cliff off. The, the subject is cliff off. Then there'll be six topics about the cliff off. That's how it works. So please, if you're interested, sign up by Friday, 6 p.m. I don't like teaching classes to one person. For that, I have a mentorship class in the Temple of the Black Serpent. 
So I'm going to have to delay this till other people sign up. All right? If you don't sign up, no problema. I will just finally teach that one class to that one individual and work it from there. All right? So, again, face your abyss. If you're really ready to face your abyss, let's do some work. If not, sit on that armchair as long as you want. See how far you get. Infernal greetings, infernal blessings, infernal darkness to all. And to all, you have a good day and a good week.